Hi, I'm Noelle Frame, one of your state representatives for the 36th Legislative District. It is week four of the legislative session and policy cutoff is upon us. The cutoff calendar can be a little confusing, so I'm going to explain how policy cutoff affects bills moving through the process by using two of my own bills as examples. For context, I currently serve as the legislative appointee to the Washington State Partnership Council on Juvenile Justice, and this session I've introduced legislation around juvenile justice reform. Young people can often be impulsive and engage in risky behaviors, and we know now that people's brains continue to develop until they're about age 25. Yet, in the criminal justice system, young people who commit serious crimes are often treated as adults rather than the juveniles that they are. So first, House Bill 2895 would reduce the list of crimes that cause a juvenile to automatically be tried as an adult and instead return jurisdiction over these crimes to the juvenile courts. It also extends juvenile rehabilitation's jurisdiction to age 25 for those serious offenses. Today, kids that commit crimes before their 18th birthday can be held in juvenile rehabilitation until they are 21. So second, House Bill 2932 adjusts state laws around the consensual exchange of explicit images through electronic messaging, commonly known as sexting. Teens often share these intimate images with someone they're dating, but they really don't understand the potential consequences of their actions. This bill makes the legal consequences of sexting between minors a misdemeanor with mandatory diversion and education, so teens who choose to send these sexually explicit images will no longer face being charged with a felony sex offense. The cutoff calendar will help determine the fate of both these bills. The cutoff calendar is a timetable for considering bills and policy cutoff, which is February 2nd this year, is the first deadline on that calendar. To continue past policy cutoff, bills have to be heard and voted out of committee before the deadline. It took some time for stakeholders to reach agreement on the best approach for both of my juvenile justice bills, so they were not introduced at the very beginning of session. In a short session, policy cutoff comes quickly and bills not introduced in those first couple of weeks can have a hard time getting a hearing because committee calendars are pretty full. Luckily, the juvenile court jurisdiction bill made it in and is scheduled for a hearing on January 30th. The sexting bill won't have a hearing here in the House before policy cutoff and therefore won't move forward. Fortunately, Senator Monka Dingra has introduced a Senate companion to this bill and it is scheduled for a hearing also on January 30th, so this legislation still has a chance. To learn more about these bills, watch the hearings live online at tvw.org. You can also find the video through the bill information page on the legislative website. Thanks for tuning in and look for more legislative updates coming soon.